Celtics all-star Jason Tatum led the way, of course, for the Celtics with 34 points as the Celtics topped the Trailblazers 128 to 124. I am Joseph Pavone alongside Jimmy Toscano and Bobby Manning. Fellas, Jason Tatum turning things around. I knew you two it's about were dancing. concerned. I knew you two were concerned, <laughs> but were you expecting this? Bob? To some degree, yes, because it's Portland. Like, they don't have the wings this year to match up with a guy like him, not to mention Hayward and Brown, and Brown had a huge performance in his own right. But we'll stick to Tatum. Um, five spot up jumper zone the first two quarters, or if going into the third, that's, that's ridiculous. Like, his three-point shot was just back in full force. And then in the fourth, that huge finish through Nurkic, like, he, was, he put it all on display – fixed everything so quickly it was a good matchup for him to do it but for it to come back to this level like the all-star we saw in March hugely surprising it was good I'm not gonna say hugely surprising it was good to see it we've all been kind of well, he, he was one him. for he was two for what 18 the other night like that's a well, huge that, that's yeah, that's sur- bucks. yeah that's surprising when he goes two for 18 that to me is super surprising when he drops 34 it's, it's like a pleasant surprise kind of thing where like you're, I'm glad it happened because that's how I remember him before this whole thing, you know, hit the fan and everything was stopped. You know, he was playing at the top of the league. So I'm not saying that he was – that his performance was at that level, but to an extent in, in certain cases it was. Um, he did need guys to step up for him late in the game because I think that second half wasn't as strong as the first half, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it was good to see him sort of look like himself again. The Celtics are going to need him. I mean, if they, if they don't get Tatum – even, you know, close, if not the same as how he was playing before the season stopped, they're not going to, you know, be title contenders. So they need him to play how he played today. They don't need 34 from every game, but they're going to need 25. And that was good to see. Yeah, that's actually going to be my next question, Jimmy. I mean, does it does – either, are either one of you concerned when you see uh, Jason Tatum score 30-plus and Celtics only win by four points, especially in a game where they led by 20-plus and they really got that lead uh, taken away from them in the second half? Luckily, they were able to bounce back, but is this the formula for success that you guys are comfortable with, or do you think that this is just a case of uh, them playing against a trailer, a trailblazer team trying to make the playoffs? It's, it's a lot of the trends we saw back in March, right? Blowing huge leads. They, they didn't fully blow it this time, but we saw that against Brooklyn, against Oklahoma City before the four-month layoff, and the poor starts like they had against Milwaukee. Like, you clean up that 17-2 start, you win that game. It's lapses like today's third quarter – that exists through almost every Celtics game. And you don't know where it's going to be, but there's going to be a very empty stretch of a game that needs to be sealed up. And that's the consistency factor I still talk about with Tatum, Jimmy. Like, we're all ready to treat him like this all-NBA player, and deservedly so for what he did before the break. But there's a consistency factor, too. We have, what, a month or two of him playing at a superstar level? There's got to be more on the books of him doing that night in and night out than a month of 30 points per game for me. And, you know, if there's going to be empty nights like the Milwaukee, night I don't know if you can put him up there with the best of the best yet until he has that level of consistency like you see with Damian Lillard here like he's doing that every single night agree completely he's not at that level where he's consistently putting up games like he has so you can't put him in that on NBA stratosphere but before the season ended before the season was stopped he was playing like a player would put up those numbers if he was consistent in that but that being said you know I don't I don't think of the Celtics as I do the Bucks, the Bucks need 35 from Giannis, and that's what everyone thinks about the Bucks. Oh, you know, yeah, just you know, Giannis is going to carry them to the wherever. People don't think of the Celtics that way with Tatum. They're deep. The problem, not the problem, but the difference right now is you're not getting you're not getting full minutes from Kemba Walker, so you're relying on some other guys to sort of carry that load points wise. But when you think of the Celtics, you think of their starting lineup. You know, unfortunately, you don't really think of their bench, which could come back to bite them. But you think of you know, obviously Tatum, then you think of Jalen Brown who's playing awesome. Um, Kemba Walker, if he can come back and be healthy. Gordon Hayward's playing great. And then we didn't even talk about Marcus Smart, who is your or your your you know trust guy off the bench. So you're not going to need 35 a night, but you are going to need consistency in the 20-point range. All right. Well, fair enough. Um, <laughs> you know what, fellas? Kemba did finish with 14 points in 22 minutes. So another uh, stellar night for Kemba. But I'm with you, Jimmy. I mean, you know, when you have a limited Kemba, you're going to have a – you're going to have yep. to have guys like, of course, Tatum step up and Jalen Brown, which he did for 30 points. But the Celtics did manage to squeeze out of this one, 128 to 124. But let us know what you think. What do you think about Tatum's play against the Trailblazers? What is it going to take for the Celtics to continue to win uh, moving forward with the limited Kemba Walker? And, of course, uh, how do you feel about Tatum now? 
let us know. CLNS Media on YouTube. For Jimmy Toscano, Bobby Manning, I am Joseph Pavone. I'll see you guys next time.